Ah, I know it's you, Mr. Robin. I know you're chipping. Like to find me about you, do. Such a fast good to watch the lad work, eh? Well, I will keep waiting. How about I plant some of these nice flowers that I picked earlier? Who are you talking to, Mr. Morning, Dr. Craven. He's up there. Follow me about like a stray lamb. See him? You mean a robin? Ah, he's a small one, that little bird. Likes to chatter, too. I'll take your word. Not you understand to kill your wife. Well, this is his gift. Have you been to see old man Lutus, Dad? Oh, why does there have? So I'm sleeping with his projects. It's broken blood and soft friends. However, I can't let him be up and about. And he's worried about the grounds. He wants to come down here. He's got nothing to fear. I've got everything under control like a good gardener's apprentice. I'm sure you do. All this is quite a bit of it. Try to cheer him up. Great idea. Be sure I'm awful. That's the best medicine. Leave it to me. Good luck. Someone come, you say? Wonder who that might be. 101, 102, 103. Morning, miss. I know who you are. Dick and Sally. Martha's brother. Yeah. You know everything about flowers and animals. Martha said so. I do know a lot. I ain't ashamed to admit that. Aren't you kind of young to be the head gardener? I'm not the head gardener. I only help out a few days a week. Only it's every day now that old man brother staff is laid with a broken leg. Ladies, how does he like to be? I'm Mary Lennox. Yes, miss, I know. You've come all the way from India. I bet you met all kinds of strange animals and such. I envy you. One doesn't meet animals. They're just there. I suppose you mean the animals in India. Elephants and the like. Oh, I know. Never seen an elephant. Except in your picture books. They can be disagreeable, especially if they have a bad tooth. Take it! When you have a moment, could you come down to the stable and have a look at your new pony? He doesn't seem lively enough to me. It could be his office new fee. I'll come to the stable as soon as I visit with Ben Weatherstaff. Miss Mary, this be my sister Philomena. She's a stable girl. Miss Mary? Seems to me there are a lot of sourpies here at Miss Lafayette Manor. We're a large family. Ah, we are. Dickens! Dickens! It's Mom. Best get the rest of us. She'll be wanting to see us all. I she will. Dickens! I reckon if it weren't for Miss Lithuania Manor, many of us Saudis would go to bed hungry many a night. I'm hungry now. I didn't have any breakfast. Mother will have something in the basket. You'll see. You seem pleasant enough. Perhaps we could be friends. But it's doubtful. I don't have any friends. There you are, Dickens. Didn't you hear me calling? I was talking with Miss Mary. The young girl all the way from India? Welcome to Yorkshire, child. Please give my regards to your dear uncle. She didn't have any breakfast. No breakfast? You poor thing. What's the matter with that eating? Doesn't do. I've got some nice apples that old Ben Weatherstaff said I might pick, and some tasty cinnamons I baked for Dickon and his brothers and sisters this morning. <coughs> they were raised on them. I don't like cinnamon, but maybe an apple. An apple it is. You're my pal, Miss Mary. I made a call with you, didn't you? Why does one section of the garden have a wall around it? You mean over there? Yes, I couldn't find a door. There's a lot of somewhere, but no one's seen it in over ten years. Shelves and vines have covered it. If there's a locked door, there must be a key. Master Barry Key, when he locked the door, said no one wants to ever go in there ever again. Why? Gracious child, did your uncle tell you? I haven't seen my uncle. I expect he's not too happy up here. Why did he bury the key to the garden? Tell me. Suppose you have a right to know. The garden was your aunt's favorite spot. She tended it all by herself. And rose mostly. She was just a bit of a girl. One day when she was, there was this old tree with a branch bent on it, kind of like a seat. And one day when she was sitting there, the branch broke and she fell to the ground. It hurt so bad, the next day she died. Well, the doctors thought that Mr. Craven would go out of his mind and die too. But he didn't. But that's why he hates the wall garden so much. He won't let anybody ever go in there. He loved his Lilius so. Lilius? That was your aunt's name. The son that says she only married Archibald Craven because of his money. Him with the crooked back and all. But I think they loved each other dearly. Now he does nothing but hide himself away from the world. Traveling here and there to forget. Poor man. It's very 
lonely here. I don't say you could say that, Miss Mary. You haven't been here long. It doesn't matter. I'm lonely no matter where I am. I expect I always will be. Goodness, child. That's no way to look at things. Mother! Mother! It's Gina Betty. Mother! That's Martha. Hey, Mom. What's in the basket? Cinnamon buns, I'll wager. Let's all have one. Better not let Mrs. Metcalf catch us. Leave the apples. I'm taking them home to make some tasty pies. I'll only stop by to visit old Ben. Poor father. A broken leg is no blessing. But I couldn't leave without saying hello. You mean to say that all of these servants are your children, Mrs. Sowerby? <laughs> all my children, yes. Of course, they belong to Mr. Sowerby, too. May he rest in heaven. How curious. And I suppose I shall spend my days here wandering about, being lonely and bored. Rubbish, child. I know. You must get yourself a garden and make things grow. It'll do wonders for you. You won't be well with that. You'll see. I don't know anything about gardens. But you can be a teacher, miss. We can be like a brother to you. I've never had any brothers or sisters. I've got 11. <laughs> <coughs> I know what we'll do, Miss Mary. That is, if you'd like. I don't mean to presume. What? We'll make you an honorary member of the Sowerby family. Family.